Hi everyone. Okay, so I thought I would do a little impromptu live and surprise you guys with something. So I'll wait to see if everyone's on there. I'm trying to be quiet. Okay guys, I have a little surprise. I'm also surprising her. Hi everyone. Okay. Hi! Hi Jeff! Hi Sivania! <laughs> to come over and say congratulations. Um, ah! <laughs> Jeff, are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> Sivania is a serious regular, everyone. <laughs> I figured we should go on here and say, say hi to the fans and, and celebrate your series regular pickup. I'm so excited for you. You gotta get in here with me. Okay. Okay. We have. Oh, okay. Great. Does that work? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Congratulations. Hello. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So excited. So excited. I've known for a little bit. That's why I've been being very communicative with people because yeah. I wanted it to be official. I heard it was a little bit of a secret there for a while. But it has to be. It makes it better. Yeah. Were you like wanting to tell everyone right away when you found out? Were you like, how did it all happen? Well, Krista yeah. sent me a message and was like, hey, can you talk for a second? I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is really bad news. Which is always the worst thing you feel like it's going to be. I'm done. Yeah. You're yeah. yeah. dying. You're like, they're firing me. <laughs> Great. Exactly. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, uh, and then she called me la with the video, and I was like, oh my god, okay. Like FaceTime you? Like <laughs> video call. And so um, I picked up the phone, we talked a little bit about the situation, obviously everything that's happening. Yeah. And then she was like, um, I just want to say to you that it's been such a pleasure to have you on, on our show. And I was like, okay, is this the pre... You know, sometimes people sometimes you have it's like thing start with the vibe. <laughs> You're waiting for the vibe. Exactly. It's so I mean, sad how yeah. actors are like that. We always are expecting the worst so things. So always. And then she said, and then, but it's been so great to have you and your uh, relationship, like Karina and Daniel and and Maya, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so good and it's so special. Yeah. And then she said, um, oh, we would like to offer you series regular on Station 18. And I literally cried on the spot right there in front of Krista, which was super nice. She was like, I just wanted to hear in, in person. I mean, as much as it was possible yeah. at the time. And so, yeah, that was it. And now she's a series regular on Station 19. So fun. So excited. Stefania. Karina. Daniela. <laughs> We're just doing this now. <laughs> We're such nerds. <laughs> I know. So I wanted to come on here and say hi and surprise you guys with Stefania and, and talk to everybody and see if you guys had any questions. See. Would you possibly want to go live with a fan? Possibly. Maybe. No, no, let's ask Jeff. Let's ask Jeff? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, should we go live with a fan? Oh, Jeff is so cute. Jeff is, what do you think? Is that, you know Jeff better than I do. What is he saying right now? Jeff, should we go live with a, with a fan? Jeff, what do you think? Yes? Do you want to do that? Okay. She said yes. She Oh, she, she really said, said yes. Is there a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 that's not good. Yes. Yes, let's do it. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how about that? You guys submit questions for us. And um, how about like the, the best, um, like the best question or question we, we go live with that person. Yeah. And answer their question in person. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. I love this dress, by the way. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks like PJ shirt and I'm sweating my butt off. I don't know why I'm in pants and riding. I look like I'm about to ride a horse. I don't know why the boots because it's so hot right now. Boots. She's wearing boots. And I'm hot. She is, like, in general. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're so funny. <laughs> <so funny. laughs> Good boy. Can we cap that? Can we just cap that? That was hilarious. Okay. You always make my forehead vein bulge out of my head because I'm always laughing so hard with you. Have you noticed that? No. It's really annoying that my book. Okay. Hi, everyone. Submit your questions to the question box. Yeah. We just, there's a lot, no? Yeah. 76 right now. Wow. And you a couple ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I like that you repeated the it ha, ha, as ha. it was ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was written. Um, 
Okay. What do you feel? What what is there anything else you want to add to you before we find a question? No. Are is there anything you've been doing with your summer? Are you excited for season four? I'm very excited. But yeah, this is the stuff that we can talk about later. later. Let's do fans. Fans. Okay. Where did you get your dress, Stefania? Uh a thrift store. Really? Always. You're I try so to buy second hand. Mm-hmm. You do that with your furniture, with your clothes, with everything. It's Whatever so impressive. I can, yeah. Save the planet. You really thrift can... store stuff usually never fits me. No. Yes. Really? Yeah. There's some very good ones in LA. I know you'll have to show me which ones. Yeah. Because every time I'm always like, I found like a couple things, but they're huge, and I have to obviously get them fitted, which I'm fine with. Yeah. But like. I also go buy it on eBay sometimes. Really? Mm-hmm. Clothes is a tough one because I feel like I need to need to try right. them on. Yeah. yeah. See, so speak some Spanish. Stefania, uh, if you want to. Sí. Buenos días a todo el mundo. Estoy muy feliz de ser. Uh, series regular en la estación 19. I don't know. I don't know what she said, but it was uh, awesome. Me neither. What's the one thing you always say to me while we're filming that's like, kiss me? Bacha me. Bacha me. Bacha me, but that's Italian. Bacha me. That's Italian. Yeah. What did you just speak? Portuguese? Spanish. Spanish. Do I don't remember. Yeah. No, this one was Italian, but that was oh, Spanish. Okay, that you was can, Spanish. Oh, wait. Before we find a question, I have to redact something that happened yesterday. Um, Alberto got very upset with me because I didn't know the languages he spoke. Ooh, Alberto. Yeah. yeah, so because yesterday me and Gray were talking and uh, um, Gray was like, Alberto can speak like four different languages. I was like, no, he can't. <laughs> offense, massive offense. Alberto can speak Italian, Ethiopian, French, Spanish, English. English. So he can speak mm-hmm. five languages. Yeah. I'm sorry, Alberto. My apologies. You are the best. You are the best. <laughs> okay, let's let's find this question. Oops, what did I do? This is what happened. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're picking. You're the one that's a series regular. You decide. <laughs> you Which are too, though. <laughs> yeah, but you just... And then you, you won. Then you won. Then you won. Okay. What do you think will happen, Marina, in season four? A very good question. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you guys are adorable. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Going to be on Netflix, like Grey's Anatomy. I don't know. Do you know? What it's gonna be? I have no idea if our show's gonna yeah. be on Netflix. It's on Hulu, so I can't imagine until it's not on Hulu, it wouldn't go to Netflix. Yes, yeah, makes sense. What are I kind of like that. That one that you already most excited. I kind of like that. What do you think? I like that. That's a serious question. It makes sense. Do you feel like you could answer it and have I like think. a good conversation about that? I think. Okay, do you want to go live? Let's do it. Okay, Harriet B underscore, we're going to go live with you. So we're going to find you now. This is the next. Ooh. There you are. Okay. Oh, quick. It's always nerve wracking to go live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're just doing this. We're waiting. <laughs> this is <laughs> We're waiting on Harriet. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Great question, by the way. Which oh wait, I just made it go away. Can you read? Oh, yeah. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. Hi. Where, where are you? Where are you connecting from? At the UK. Where in the UK? Um, England. So kind of the north. No, no. Like where specifically in the UK? Uh, Preston. 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 Okay. Preston. Nice. Because you used to live in the UK, right? I used to live in London, yes. I love yeah, I London. used to live down south as well. Oh, amazing. In I used Kent. to have a... Was it a go ahead, go ahead. I sorry. lived in Kent. Nice. Yeah. I love England so much. That's why, and that's also why you have such a unique accent, right? Well, I used to have a very weird accent because it was Italian and then the British. So I was like, well, whatever, mate. And it was not good. People were not impressed with my accent. But... <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. It was like five years, probably the best years of my life there I spent in London. So I'm very happy. Are you excited? You seem so cool and chill. They, everyone always seems so cool and chill. We're over here like super yeah. nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very, very glad that I got picked. I was very excited for that. Amazing. So do you want to go ahead and like go for it, ask your questions for our new series regular of Station 19? <laughs> Uh, so one of them I was wondering was who was like the first person that you kind of told when you got it, like out of everyone. Question. 
So it's interesting. It's a good question because it happened, I found out in the afternoon. And, and so everybody, my whole family was asleep because in Italy, they're nine, hour, nine hours ahead. So I was like, who am I going to call right now? I need to tell my sister. I need to tell my best friend. And uh, who did I call? I don't remember. I don't even remember who I called to let them know. First? No idea. I think I waited. I think it was... It was my friend, it was my friend Natasha, I okay. think I found out first. Well, was that just by convenience? Like you call, she called you or texted you and so you called her and was like, no, this just happened? I need to tell somebody. somebody. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I think, I, I, I'm not even certain that I, it was her. All I have to say. Maybe it was my manager. Oh, well, your manager, yeah. of course. Yeah. Because did they know or no? You were the person. Didn't. So I was the first one to know. So I think it was my manager. I was like, hey, just so you know, this happened. And he was like, oh. So excited. Yeah. That was also one of the things that happens a lot in like, I would say ABC and specifically Shondaland is they really like to go straight to the actors yeah, about yeah. stuff. And so we never, we find out so much stuff before our team does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. weird because you have this team that you're paying all this money for and you're like, wait a second, I know more information than you do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, okay, fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I do have to say, I have beef though, because I didn't find out about it. I know, but I what I didn't. I see. This is the thing. They don't know who you can tell. So it was like just. I didn't. She was kind of like not impartial, you know. My friend Natasha is not involved, so it's like I can't tell her. I was so sad, I'm not gonna lie. I found out, so we have a writer's meeting at the beginning of like every season with all the writers of the show. Um, just to kind of say hi and just touch base. And I'm in the writer's meeting and then they know we're so close. And so they were like, as you probably know, Stefani is a series regular now. And I was like, wait, what? And I screamed, I said a couple cuss words and I was like so <laughs> excited. And I was like, no, I did not know. She did not tell me this. It was a part of it. It was to protect me because I probably wouldn't have been able to keep my mouth shut. But I remember I got off that writer's meeting and I needed to text you and I said, we have something to talk about. <laughs> and then I still had to wait because I think I didn't talk to you for another yeah. like day. Because you were gone all the I was. Time. I was on the road. But yeah, so but yes. long answer to Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, go, go ahead. I'll stop talking. Uh, another one I was wondering is what sort of like character development are you hoping for Karina in season four? question as well um well i feel like karina in the past few years has been a fun character to play but maybe not i haven't been able to go to go like into like a deeper situation deeper like more personal storyline it was always like related to my brother and then maya and i feel like that that's been incredibly fun but but um yeah, I wonder if she has any, because she's been extremely cool and easy to hang out and very supportive and helpful. And I wonder if she has any, any issues that she needs help with mm -hmm. herself rather than just providing help to other people, no? Being a support. Do you people. feel, yeah, someone was saying that yesterday too, like how, how has always been everyone's support system. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like you've always kind of been everyone's like strong, you know, foundation to like be able to be like rely on yeah and you haven't been able to really show any weakness at all right yeah so who knows i, I would like to i would like to explore that that'd and be interesting i wonder what your weaknesses or what your at least what your vulnerabilities would even be because you've been so strong and so confident of a character for so long i mean you've been on grace for how many years now four i mean three, three and this was a fourth one, yeah. so you know three full years and your character's always been so strong it would be interesting and it's had so much done to you, right? Yeah, I don't know. Like so many things have happened, have happened to her. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I wonder. I'm excited. I'm really yeah. excited. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I really liked <laughs> Grey's. Did you what? I said I watched Grey's first, so then and then kind of watched Station as it first aired um, because of Grey's, and I really liked um, Brina on that as well. So I got quite excited when she got put into Station. I was nice. too. Thank I was you. very, I was very excited. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yes. Big deal, big deal. Absolutely. It was. Did you watch Grades from the beginning? Um, no, because I, I don't think I was very, like, old when it first, very first started. So, so when start <laughs> I kind of first started watching it when I moved um, up here about seven years ago. Okay. Nice. Well, I've watched it all. I watched it with my mom.
Oh, I love that. I hear that so much that so many people watch it with their mothers or their grandmothers or their aunts. Yeah. It's really, I mean, it's so cool to hear that. Very okay. sweet. Well, do you have any other questions for Stefani? Um, was you a fan of like Grey's and Station when you kind of got the role? Like before you what? went on to it? What was what? What was, what was what? your what? <laughs> was, you, was you kind of like already a fan of the show when you oh. ah was I yeah and I was actually my best friend in Italy started watching it before I did and then she recommended it and so I started watching it and I was like wow this show and the, the first thing that got me was the chemistry between Meredith and Derek oh and Mc, Mc Dreamy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which insane. everybody yeah insane. I mean that was I think what fueled that show at yeah. the beginning you're like oh my gosh so good and so, yes, I was a fan of the show, and I never in a million years would have thought that I was going to act in the show. So it was a, a massive surprise. And, and the, the best friend, when I first got the, the role on Grace, I couldn't tell anybody until the press release came out. So I didn't talk to anybody for two weeks because I'm not very good at keeping secrets. So I ignored my friend for two weeks. I just texted her, I was like, I'm good, I'm alive, I'm just busy, I can't talk to you right now. And then finally the, the thing came out, and I called her. And she, we literally cried on the phone. And then she flew to the US to watch the premiere with me. And I didn't have a TV at the time. So we ran to the hotel room that had ABC Stop. to watch. Yeah. <laughs> In order to watch the first episode. And this was three years ago? That was three years ago. Yeah. I've only had my, I did only had my laptop and I couldn't watch ABC live on yeah. my laptop. So yeah. I was like, what do we do? And I was like, okay, let's go to a hotel and rent a, a room and watch it. Have again. you told this story before? Because that's no, an amazing story. <laughs> and actually, the. That she came is a it was a present the flight was a present from her girlfriend to for her birthday yeah. so she flew her to America as a surprise to come see the premiere of the of the me show. Goosebumps. Yeah, amazing. I love that. Amazing, amazing. Oh she's my the best. She's like my sister. And is she in Italy now? She's, she's in Italy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Her name was. I'm not gonna stand. Keep her, keep her. I call her Sailor Moon because she has very long legs. Do you remember the cartoon? Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, I remember so Sailor I have her in my phone say the Sailor. So that's what it was. AK yeah. Sailor Moon AK. was to watch your first episode exactly. with you in a hotel room because you didn't have a TV. Exactly. That's such an amazing story. Yeah, I just thought about it. It's crazy thinking about it now. It's like, whoa. But yeah, to answer your question, I was a fan of the show. Were you a fan? Grace, I watched the beginning with my yeah. mom growing up, but then I think I only went to like season four, okay. and then that was it. So I hadn't watched it in a super long time. Okay. And you, did you watch Station 19 before you were on the show? I did because Alberto was in it. Oh, that's right. Because so, uh, were you and Alberto friends before Station 19 started? No, but we, we both got hired on the same year, and so everybody right. was saying like, the two oh, people yeah. like the Italians that got a job on Show on the Line, like two Show on the Shows, Alberto friends. I didn't even realize that you got cast to be the same time that Alberto got cast. Yeah, I got cast on Grey's and he got cast on Station, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and so we, we had like a couple of events together, and yeah. that's how we became friends. I love that. So that's how you saw the show? Yeah. It feels like you've kind of taken over to a spot. It's weird. I know, it's weird. We love you, Alberto. I see a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. We just got sad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that. <laughs> Do you, you had amazing questions. Do you have more? Um, and if not, you, it's totally fine. <laughs> No, it's okay. What are you kind of like hoping for that will happen in season four? Just what do we hope will happen in season four? Yeah. yeah. Migo? Yeah. Um, I would like to see some, some, like I think you said, um, you like me having to like earn your love and respect back. Like we ended with, you know, Maya cheating and, and then forgiving, you know, not forgiving, uh, asking for forgiveness and telling you that I loved you, but and that's a great way to end it's very much like wrap it in a bow and tie it but obviously i think i don't know where the show's picking up after that i don't know if we're together or not together i know nothing but if we are in you know my head if our characters are still together at the start of the season right. i would love to see maya have to really win you over Foot massages. <laughs> but, in bed. i like that that's your thing you're like foot massages in bed. <laughs> like i think that would lend itself to humor on top of like Maya really having to bust her butt to like be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm right, sorry. Right, um, but I'm excited to explore a relationship yeah. further. And then for Maya, I think I'm just excited to see her like deal with everything. 
and I don't know what else. I wonder if I'm going to stay captain. There's so many things I wonder because so yeah. in one script, everything can change. Yeah. And so I and things change fast. fast. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we can't keep up. I'm like, wait, what is happening in this script? What, I'm what like, is I supposed to do? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes something's supposed to happen. And at the last thing, they're like, oh, we cut that scene. Like, I remember when Rigo's character on our show, who I can't even remember his character's name now. Oh, Rigo played Rigo. Rigo, the actor, oh, played Rigo yeah. on Station 19. Mm -hmm. And I remember one episode, he was, like, in the episode, he was going to be live. And then, you know, something happened, who knows, behind the scenes of, like, you know, trying to negotiate contracts or something. Who knows? And all of a sudden, we get pages that day <gasps> that say he's dead. And we're like, what? <laughs> he died? <laughs> Like, that was well. He luckily he's an actor that was working on another show. Right, right, right. So I think just because of scheduling, they couldn't make it work, and then he died. And then he died. And I'm like, yeah, I was, and so and it was like this casual, like Sullivan walks in and is like, Rio didn't make it, and then walks out, and we're like, like our reactions were so authentic because it all this like that's how quickly sometimes mm -hmm. things happen on set. Yeah. Sometimes we shoot stuff and then they change the edits. Yeah. After we shot something and change the story. So it's just, it's, yeah, everything changes a lot. Everyone has to stay on their toes. Yeah. Now, what about you? Besides what you talked about with your character, what would you like to see, even with the show in general? Or with, like, because you're going to be, I'm assuming, doing I'm, stuff on Grey's and Station 19. Well, I, I'm assuming it's probably because it's still the relationship of my brother. My brother is going through what he's going through right now, so yeah. it will have to be a support for him. But also, I'm wondering what my role is going to be, like, what my job is going to be, how my because I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be just focused on our relationship. Yeah, it, I mean, it's got to have more than that. Yeah, exactly. So I'm interested to, to see what that will be. It's always a hard question at the beginning of the season because we're kind of like so in the dark. We don't know nothing. That we're like, <laughs> I need like some tidbits from the writers for them to at least tell me like where we're headed and then I can be like, okay, this is what I would right. like to happen. Right. But it's also fun because you're like, surprise! <laughs> 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 It is interesting though, that now that I just said it, I was like, you know, my assumption is like, oh, we're together. And that might right, not right. be the case. For like, sure. we might start the season off and not be in a relationship. Right. I just thought about that. Too. <gasps> oh my God. That makes me really sad. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Mystery. Mystery. <laughs> I thought the finale was really good. You like the finale? Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us about yourself. What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, I like to watch a lot of like true crime. Ooh, um, what's your favorite? Mm, what do you mean, like cases or like YouTubers? Oh, there's like, oh, like YouTubers true, too. For real? Mm. No, I, I watch a lot. Sleep at night. Okay, have you seen the HBO about the Golden State Killer? It's like an HBO. Yeah. Have you watched the whole thing? Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. I don't know if I've watched that, but I've watched a case on the Golden State Killer. Wow, Which was scary. interesting. I don't like what I, mean, I don't. I don't sleep at night. I watched like twenty minutes. I was like, ha, oh, I can't. No. I get so scared. You do? No, no, I don't want to either. Like, I need to have someone with me to watch those types of things. So, but you like so those. Bravery. I think it's more. I want to become a lawyer when I'm older. So I quite like the right. whole sort of doing. Do you watching. have any scripted television no. shows you love that are like procedural? That like are solving crimes. I like Criminal Minds. I watch that a lot. That's nice. a great one, uh, yeah. Yeah, which okay. I think it's because I wanted to be a profiler originally, but then realised that I'd have to become like a police officer first, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go into being an officer. So right. I went to being a lawyer for the prosecution. So I'm kind of wow. working on going towards that now when I leave school. Amazing. Which, yeah. Good. And are you able to go to school right now? I mean, how is summer, but how is it in um, right now? Well, we haven't really been told if my college is reopening. Okay. Um, we've been told that it might do, but we've not been given the email to say that it is. So as of right now, I'm assuming that we'll be going back in September, okay. but it hasn't been said yes. So I guess okay. it's kind of just wait and see. But I've only got a year left at college anyway before I go to uni. So nice. Wait, so how does that work? You have a year of college left and then you go to university? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so you have obviously like from year seven to year 11 which is kind of your um high school basically and then we have um year 13 year 12 and 13 which is college which is where you do your a levels before going on and doing a degree in university 
So okay. I'm going to year 13. Okay, it's so confusing. I, don't, I still haven't gotten the American <laughs> from life. So it makes right sense there? in regards to like what you're saying, like we have the high school, ours is essentially yeah. considered nine to 12 with the numbers, but it's four years of high school. Yeah. And then you have four years to get your bachelor's and we just call everything a college. We just call it a different degree. Exactly. But you have four years to get it, but the first two years of your four year bachelor's degree are, are basically your GED classes, which would basically, it sounds like what you would call college. They're like basically yeah. the required classes. And then the next two years after that is you actually taking all the classes that, that pertain to your degree. In Italy, we do it right. We have five mm. years of elementary school, <laughs> three years of middle school, like um, scuole media, middle school, five years of high school, and then you go to university. No, it's like uh, people are like, yeah, I'm a 15th grader. I'm like, what, what? is that? <laughs> Why? What? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I, I mean, mean I, I didn't follow the system, so I obviously <laughs> didn't go along with it, but, <laughs> but I guess that's the way it works. That's so funny. That Did you go to university? I went to a college, actually. I went to a private college after high school. It was a performing art college. In, in, in Milan. Milan. In Milan. It cost me a fortune. I was like waitressing at night and then going to school until 4 o'clock in the morning. And that's when you were dancing? I was dancing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun, though. Have they ever had you dance on our show? Not yeah. our show, but like Grace? Because I know we haven't, you haven't danced on our show. No. Would you like to see Stefania dance on our show? <laughs> no. For that I'm point. absolutely planning that in the writer's head. I'm like, just so you know, she's a technically trained yeah, dancer. Like, Why have they not utilized this yet? I danced with Jeff. I danced with Jeff a lot. <laughs> For a second, I was like, who's, what do you mean you did this? I'm like, oh, Jeff. Sorry, Jeff, I didn't mean to scare you. Um, okay. Sorry, I just got excited about that. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's very interesting then. So you want to be, so you're going to go into, specifically go into law next. What kind of law? Like civil cases or? Uh, criminal, I'm hoping to do. To doing like the criminal yeah. cases. Criminal cases. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. you. love it. There used to be a show on television called Profiler that I used to love growing up. I don't know if you ever saw it, which I know you're not going to get into now because like you said, it's a different, but if you like that kind of stuff, I remember growing up, it was a fascinating show to watch. Um, so anyways, I know. Yeah. What have you been able to do? Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. What do you say? What have you been able to do during the summer? Obviously, because everything sh um, you know shut down and COVID yeah. and everything. To be honest, I've not really done very much because my school still gave us all of our work to do. So I still had that. all of that to get done, which was a lot because they gave us like double the normal amount that we'd get given. But, oh my really? god, that's so mean. Shandalan, uh, hi. Hi, Shandalan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's very mean. Complicated. Sorry, yeah. but you're done with it, with school now. Are you yeah, I finished in June. Are you going to be able to do something fun this summer? Uh, I'm meant to have my cousins coming up in like a few weeks, but the cases have started to spike in my area. Ah. And so they've stopped people from being able to go to other people's houses. And obviously, they'd have to stay over because it's like six hours travel. So, yeah, fair enough. hopefully, that it can still work. But if not, then I guess I'll wait until fair next time. And look at photos of nature. There's a lot of things, too, though, like Zoom calls, and there's like a house party app, and there's all these fun things that people are doing now. Like, I just did a birthday party for a friend, obviously, that was Zoom. Yeah. And then we were able to play like a ton of different games on our phone together while we were on the Zoom. And we laughed so hard nice. just because i mean once you get used to it it's so weird at first yeah. but once you get used to it it's kind of like oh this is kind of the new normal this is yeah for a bit and at least you can socialize yeah because yeah it makes it very difficult that is one thing i'm really excited about i was talking to barrett and alicia about it is like because we're all so close and we're working together like we all get to essentially quarantine together exactly exactly <laughs> so which is nice like yeah yeah we're very yeah. lucky mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm sorry to talk. <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> I I'm going to just put my phone on charge, so I'm just going to get a okay, okay. I love Brazilian swear words. Did you, you just swear? swear? I did, I'm sorry. It's another language, so it doesn't count. <laughs> that is going to be retweeted and reposted like crazy. I know, the swear words, no. Please don't. No, Do you not want to do that from that, too? No, no. Don't repost the Vanya saying I, swear words. No, Pretty no, no. the cherry on top. No, me gusta. I love that you just read it instead of done. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, it was great talking to you. Thank you. Guys.
This was awesome. Thanks for your amazing questions. Yes, and good luck <laughs> with the with the rest of your I mean the rest of your summer and your next school year, but especially with uni. We cannot wait to hear from you when you become a super badass lawyer. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing eventually. Yes. But, thank you so much for um, inviting me on. It was of nice. course. Thanks for submitting your questions and wanting to talk to us. I'd love to. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great rest of your day. What time is it there? I, um, I think it's night time. I was going to say, I think it's night time. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. So. Oh, PM. well, have a great rest of your night. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And you. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao, bad luck. Ciao. Bye. 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 So cute. That was awesome. Yeah. Little surprise talk and chat. Yeah, it was very nice. So sweet and such great questions. Um, is there anything else you would add to anything? You're good. I don't think so. That was some good, it was really good questions. They were thorough. They got my brain yeah. thinking. And now yeah. I'm actually worried that our characters might not be together. I know. I got worried about that too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and like bribe one of the writers to give me some intel. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think it sounds like a great idea. Let me know. Text me. I'll let you know what I find out. Yes, yes. Well, I just wanted to do this. Anything you want to add before we, I guess, sign off? Jake! Ciao! Jake! Jake! Is he on here? Yes! Should we say hi? Let's say hi. Jake, we're bringing you on. Yes, you better be dressed. Are. There you go. Waiting for Jake Borelli. Hello, like the <gasps> fans. <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> You guys, I felt like such a creeper because I literally typed I love you maybe like seven times during the, the last like 30 minutes. <laughs> it's so hard because there's so many things going on. I didn't even see it at all. But then she's like, Jake's on. Yeah. How are you? Good. Oh my God, Stefania, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. When I read it yesterday, I was literally like swiping through Instagram and I saw the post and I was like, <gasps> I literally, it felt like I got series regular. I was so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How are you yes. doing? How is it? How have you been? How is this your your summer? Your year I've, so far. I've been okay. I've basically been on this couch for like three months, which has been wonderful. <laughs> um, but I did get to visit my family, which was nice. You're how was nice. how was your trip, Danielle? I didn't I didn't know you got back. It looks awesome. My trip. I just got back on Sunday. My trip ended up being six weeks. I actually came back for like a day and then left again because I was like, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> It's been amazing. I've been in like the most remote secluded areas, like drinking coffee gorgeous. from like campfire and s'mores. And it's amazing. so many pictures. I'll share more with you when I see you too, but. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. like a dream. It was pretty Oh, amazing. thank you. Yeah, it's you grew a good beard. Oh my God, my hair, look at how long my hair has gotten. I love it, like, it's so good. You know what's been great though, is like every guy I know has been growing out their hair and it's like a different look that I feel yeah. like they never, you guys never really, never let happen. Like very yeah. rarely guys out there. And it looks great on everyone I've seen. You know? I know, it's like, like the 2020 oh, yeah. look, just like caveman. Yes, <laughs> it is. I feel bad for anyone that doesn't find that attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Now what, I have to know what like home ec projects you've done because I know you are the most DIY yeah. hands-on. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so funny that you just asked that because it's my friend's birthday today and I yes. got her a present and I didn't have wrapping paper. So I like painted wrapping. I literally have like my paints out and stuff like this. Oh, <laughs> so I did that. Crazy. That's the, but the, like, I wouldn't even know to come up with those things. Like, that is so genius. You constantly surprise me. Every time I've been at your place, you're like, I, I was like, oh my God, what is that? And you're like, I stitched that and I made that. And it's I more that I'm that. like terrified to go to the store. So I'm like, I'm going to have to make everything myself. <laughs> well, right. you're equipped to do it. So, yeah. I mean, I remember how I said I was going to stitch you something. And I think all I ever stitched was that one thing that we talked about. Oh like, my I God. And, wait, and I said I was going to stitch you something too. Well, yours is going to be much more valuable than I've mine. I've been doing this like cow. Six-year-old did it. Oh, my God. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah. What is this going to be? Is it going to be like a pillowcase or something? I don't know. I think I'm just going to hang it on my wall, to be honest. Because even yeah. behind you, you paint it, right? Oh, yes, yes, the, yeah. The, yeah, I remember that piece of art when I walked wow. in your place a, a while ago. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I need something on the wall, so I did that, but I like it. Making myself. <laughs> what have you been doing, Stefania? How have you been? I've been good. I've been doing a lot of house stuff as well. Yeah. And then I went on a little 
trip with some friends for my birthday, which was great. A camping trip. Oh, nice. Like a camping trip, yeah. Okay. A very sh small group of friends. Where did you guys go? Because I'm about to go camping next week, and I'm curious. Of a Where everyone's going now. I know. Well, I've been going. I've gone camping like a bunch. Just Where like have you been going? Well, there, like there's a place called Kern River, which is oh, yeah. awesome. So Kern River. River, and then um i've been contemplating going up to big sur but i'm like ah, it's a five-hour thing so it's you might i just heard it was packed nights. at big sur oh. it worried me oh really yeah, the hard thing is it's hard to were find you there you went around there. there yeah yeah was it packed um, uh no that's good oh, that's good no really no i we didn't see anybody maybe it's just people trying to scare me away they're like no don't go there it's packed Maybe I need to know like the campsite you went to so that, but maybe don't say it on here because then everyone's Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Secrets. Well, they're all full. They're, they're, that's the hard part. You need to book a lot in advance. Oh, uh, really? Recreation. I, did, I drove to Ohio to visit my family and on the way back, because I just drove straight through pretty much like 17 hours a day. I was going to say, did you do 17 hours straight? Did you stop at all? Wow. I, I stopped. Well, I did 17 hours to Denver and slept in my car. And then another like 17 hours to my um, brother's house in Chicago. So I didn't, no, I didn't stop. I was too that's scared. That's impressive. Wow, that's and my brother has a baby. So I was like, I don't want to stop and like, you know, so put anyone at risk. Oh, was she Sorry, leaving? I don't know. You made her mad. She left. Sorry, anyway. Just I was just melting. Oh, she was melting. Oh, oh gotcha. I was like, I don't know. She ran away. <laughs> okay, sorry. So you drove through Ohio and then to Chicago and then you drove from Chicago straight as well. No, you stopped. Well, then I, I stayed with my brother and we drove together. But on the way back, I was like, I don't want to do it again. And I, I'm not going to see the baby. So it's like, there's less risk. So I stopped at um, Arches National Park and hiked. <gasps> but there were so many people there. Oh, no. And it like stressed me out. There were so many people and no one was wearing masks or anything. So I don't know. I got, That's I got extremely lucky because I, when I went on the RV trip, it felt like I was like the first, I was, it felt like I was leading a pack essentially mm -hmm. because yeah, everywhere, yeah, everywhere I went, there was no one and it had like everywhere I'd gone, it just opened. Yeah. And so, but when it, people, a lot of people I know went after me and everybody was telling me how it was packed when they got there, but I must've had like this first wave of people that yeah. I, no one, cause no one, when I went to Bryce and Zion, nobody. like it was weird. Wow. And yeah. Yellowstone, like what I've heard, because I've never been before, but Yellowstone, I guess there's like tons of waiting in line to get in and waiting, like it takes forever to go around. We, I mean, we, it felt like we owned the park. Wow. Like we just drove and parked where we wanted and we're just like, is this See, what it's like all the time? Like, it'll never be like that again. Yeah. No, was, I guess people are like building up courage now and everyone's going out. So it's a little more stressful. I think people are starting to get a little stir crazy, but they should still be wearing masks. But yeah, I yes. think people are just getting stir crazy For in their sure. houses. So yeah. yeah. Crazy. Anyway. Well, where are you going to next? Hmm? Where are you going to next? Um, we might go back to Kern River, honestly, just because just do one night thing. But I want to do a couple nights somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. are you just tent camping? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's best. Yeah. That's awesome. So we'll see. So good. So good. Anyway, I wanted to hop on and say congratulations. I'm so <laughs> thank freaking excited. So your guys' you you. you like storyline last now. year. <laughs> oh my god, your guys' storyline last year on 19 was so oh, I was all about it. I know you know because I gushed over you at table reads every time I saw you, but like <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And so I'm so excited that they're like oh. investing in telling this amazing story. It's so Were you pissed at Maya for a little bit? You know, I can't, I can't, I can't knock you though. You know what I mean? You're a human being. People make mistakes, yeah. but, and, and you came back and you apologized. And I'm just curious to see like the aftermath of like how you guys um, move forward, you know, because, you know, who am I to judge whether people move forward or not? I'm just excited to see how, you know? How do you feel about like, you and Nico? How, what's going to happen? Oof, we are in a tough place. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> How I mean, did was it abruptly ended? How did it end yeah. this season with you guys? We we broke up. Basically, I told him that I needed more from him and he wasn't in a place where he could give that and it was sort of like a standoff where um yeah, he he just like he wasn't willing to give that and so we basically just said like okay, well I guess it's I guess it's over. Wow. It was kind of rough. And to be honest, like I didn't I wasn't like planning on playing it that way. Like that, like the, the end, it was like the end to end. 
And when we were doing it, it like really felt like the end. And, and I even remember Kevin McKidd was directing that episode. And I remember I stumbled multiple times. Like I had to do multiple takes because for like the first time it was weird. I like, I, I, as an actor, I intellectually knew what was going on, but I think I hadn't processed it through Levi yet. It was like, I was processing it in the moment. And it was so weird because like in between scenes, I was like getting teary eyed because I was like, oh, Levi's relationship is like ending for right now. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah Kevin McKinn was like, what, what is up with you? What's going on? I was like, I don't know, Kevin. I don't know. I think he's <laughs> losing his boyfriend. It was so sad. That's so good. It is funny how we compartmentalize sometimes. Um, yeah. Like our characters and then and then us as people, but then it's sometimes that line gets blurred when we're actually doing the scenes. Yeah. It was so <laughs> weird. So yeah, I can yeah. see that. Though. I mean, I have a feeling we'll we'll dive a little bit more into it in the similar way yeah. that you guys are. So we'll see. But um, I'm excited. I can't wait. Yeah. I cannot wait. Nice. Thank well, it's good to see your guys' faces. Good to see your face. I miss you. you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. We, we no, no, no warning. We're like, let's get it. I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, congratulations. I can't wait to watch. Thank you. Thank you again. And I can't wait to see you soon. You too. Bye. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, this was so good. That was awesome. What yeah. a surprise. So good. So good to catch him. I feel like the positive during all this is that most people are home. So. Exactly. So home. You, just so everyone knows, Stefania is like the biggest fidgeter. I am fidget. <laughs> so she's been back here dancing and like doing things with her legs that you guys can't see. I have my legs see. on the desk, on the desk, and then I move, I move. Now, I know that about you, and it's been so funny because it's been like perfectly off camera. <laughs> and that's like that in between takes yes. I always do this in between takes this is me yep people are lighting and, uh, and they're like stay still we have to put and I'm like sorry sorry and then I stay still and I'm like, <laughs> like different I don't know what is it called why I don't feel like it's a nervous yeah, thing though right no I'm just like chilling because yeah it's not nerves it's just you you're not someone that just stands still I find it very hard but it's funny because you're not like a spastic person either. It's, you're not. You're not like all over the place and causing anxiety. You're just like, I got to keep moving. Yeah, I'm like grooving. I have a grooving time. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I feel like everyone learns so much about you today. Okay, basta now. Let's basta. Let's do some mystery. Mystery. Let's do some mystery. That's it then. We're heading out. I'm so happy we got to sign on. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you I'm so excited coming. that we get to have another season. And many, many more to come. Me too. A lot. Live hug. Live hugs. Mm. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This was so much fun. And thank you, Harriet, for um, asking all your amazing questions. Yes. Thank you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao, Bali. Ciao.